uh, part of the warranty for this used transmission is that I replace this uh, front oil seal on the, the pump here. I've got the new one. It's a, um, it says it's a ZF seal, so it's from Germany. And uh, so I'm going to have to take it out. I've got this seal removal tool. Try and be careful not to uh, damage anything else. There we go. That came out easy enough. The seal probably wasn't bad, but uh, for the price of the seal, it's not a big deal. Um, you know, it fulfills my end of the bargain as far as the warranty on the transmission. So there's the new seal. Yeah, they're identical. Get a rag here and clean this. It looks like there's a spacer in there, which I am not going to remove. Now I've got access to a lathe that works, so uh, a little creative use of some PVC here. I made a, uh, a custom install tool and just put that right in there and uh, bang away. And, uh, it shouldn't uh, shouldn't distort my uh, shouldn't distort my seal. a little assembly lube on this and I'm going to use a little assembly lube right out on the outside of the outside of the seal here to aid in uh, getting this thing together. There's my Lucas. This whole thing can get all nice and greasy. It really doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going to put uh, some assembly lube on the torque converter. This seal seals against the outside of the case and the torque converter. So it really, I don't have to put anything on that shaft per se. So let's hope this goes in as good as the, uh, the front crank seal did. Okay. It's a little crooked here. Yeah, not too bad. Should be fine. One more tap here. And Fine. 